I never understood why kids didn't like being sent to the principal's office. I thought it was great. Sheldon, you are a remarkable young man. Thanks. And you're a remarkable old man. Sheldon. So you sure he's got all the credits he needs? Yeah, between his coursework and his AP test, he's met all of his academic requirements. He even managed to get a good grade in PE. I earned extra credit snitching on kids who were smoking behind the equipment shed. I don't have to buy cigarettes for a year. So he's really good to graduate? He sure is. I gotta tell you, usually when kids leave school after two years, it's not for college. It's for prison or pregnancy. Well, between George and Missy, we may hit the trifecta. George? Well, I'm not rooting for it. It's just a thing that could happen. One other bit of business. Since you're graduating early and you're top of the class, that makes you our valedictorian. Way to go, buddy. I'm so proud of you, baby. You seem surprised. Well, it's quite an accomplishment. Being top of the class in this school? I don't think so. We're really gonna miss you. I imagine my leaving will be hard for you. Oh, yeah. Being best friends with a little kid really boosted my game with the ladies. Makes sense. I'm a conversation starter. Just think, you'll have this table all to yourself. Actually, I joined the jazz band. Those guys have their own table in the cafeteria. Oh. They're pretty cool. The drummers even got a goatee. Well, I'm glad I knew you before you became a heroin addict. Where are my safety goggles? I don't have an orange today. No, I have a lab later. Just use the room goggles like everyone else. And risk eyebrow lice? They don't just like head hair tan. They must be in my locker. Don't eat my fluffernutter! I won't. Safety pins, safety scissors, no safety goggles. Did you happen to see a pair of safety goggles? Sheldon, sure. we're in the middle of a test. Sorry. I can't give you the answer, but what you have is not even close. Out! <laughs> These things happen. My mother had me when she was young. Sorry to interrupt. I can't find my safety goggles. Well, they're not here. I have to find them. Nothing's more important than protection. <laughs> Dad, you need to take me home. Why? What's the matter? I don't have my safety goggles. Let's go. Sheldon, I'm busy. You're just watching TV. I'm reviewing game tape. So you know how it ends. I'll meet you at the car. Sheldon, I'm not driving you home. I got practice in 20 minutes. Then call Mom and tell her to bring them to me. She's working, too. But I need my goggles. Then use the ones in class. And I don't want to hear about eyebrow lice. The ones in class are too big for me. What if they fall off and something happens to my eyes? If I go blind, I'll need a seeing eye dog, and I'm scared of dogs. Hey! Is this how you plan on acting when you get to college? No. Good, because you're going to need to handle stuff like this on your own. I can handle it. I hope so. I ended up using the class goggles that day and did not get eyebrow lice. But eight months later, I did contract a mild case of pink eye. Were the two events related? This scientist says yes.